I got one of them. Oh shit, I need to heal. Is he? Uh, Ow, what the fuck? Empty. Oh, that's oh god. That's cook cook no. Uh, uh, Who's fucking shooting me? Oh my god, this guy won't die. <laughs> Holy shit. I'll take that. Why not? They were all like jacked up on something. J junkies are crazy. Apparently over here. Thank you hey. for this. Oh God. For the brotherhood. All clear. Oh my God, more dogs.
pilot. Okay. Let's loot the place. I think we deserve it. See what else is in here? Nothing really to write home about. What are in these cards? That's everything here. <laughs> yep. Yeah, let's cash in this quest. Hey. I see you're still alive, and that's promising. Any luck on that bounty? Uh, yeah. That right. You killed one of the psychopaths on my shit list. Let me see the scumbag's head. God damn it. That's Violet, all right. You've made me one happy son of a bitch, you know that? Here, this is the bounty I put on her head. It's yours. Think you can take down another one of these scumbags? Up to you. But I can trust you to do the job, and I'd hate to see you walk away. Took all three of them out. I actually have another head for you. You killed another one. Let me have a look at the head. Well, well, well. Driver Nafai. Nothing to say, you son of a bitch. No tips on my golf swing. <laughs> Lost a lot of good men to this psychopath. Morale's gonna be better now that he's gone. Here's the bounty I promised. I guess we can send first recon down to Camp Forlorn Hope. They need all the help they can get there. That's two psychopaths dead. If you can bring down the third, there's a bonus in it for you. I got another head. If that's true, that'd be the last of them. Yeah, that's Cook Cook. Ugh, did he always smell like this, even before he was dead? And the fiends let this guy touch their food? Well, this is payback for at least one of my troopers. She'll be glad to know he's dead. Here's your caps. You've been one hell of a stroke of good luck, you know that? Those three scumbags probably killed 20 NCR troopers. And you bring them down alone. Wish I had a few grunts as good as you. Damn good working with you. Good work, you two. Good work. Good work. Maybe I can toss them. Oh. Maybe I can find her. Where is she? Ah. Hey girl, you need something from me? If you you're a sniper? What gave me away? The big gun? The shades? Or the attitude? I didn't know where I didn't know snipers wore shades. They don't. Only the good ones do. Oh, do they? My partner's got some potential, so I let him wear those goofy glasses. I tell him there is training shades. He totally buys it. Truth is, his eyes just suck. Uh, you see a lot of combat? Not unless you count the fiends as serious. Gorobets keeps us inside the fence most of the time. Doesn't matter to me. I just shoot bad guys. 
Sooner or later, they'll move us out to the dam, though. That's when the shit gets nasty. What do you mean? The fiends are not enough challenge for you? Legion fights to win, and they're smart. Hell of a lot smarter than these crazy fiends. But I don't feel bad about shooting Legion boys. Fiends, on the other hand, sometimes I get pangs of conscience. Not often, but sometimes. Those fiends are like a tough fucking dude. Like the last dude I had to kill, I had to pr bring out my M4 to bring them down. First, I've heard about consequences. First, I've heard about con. In a while, I've killed so many people. I don't even think about it. Yeah, doesn't sound like me at all, right? But it happens. Some cute little junkie bitch, so fucked up she doesn't even know that she's the bad guy. And I've got a headshot her. Makes me think. Might just be sex, though. I see some cute little number and I'd rather get in her pants. So maybe I'm a stone cold bitch after all. Who's your partner? The little guy. Ten of spades. I like him because he listens. Doesn't shut up the rest of the time, but when I talk, he listens. Also, he doesn't pull any stupid come-ons, like practically every other horn dog alpha male on this base. Might be, he's just scared of me, though. Those snipers work in pairs? Yeah. We spot for each other, watch each other's backs. Usually works pretty well, unless you get paired up with an asshole. Thing is, there's a lot of assholes in the army. I keep hoping they'll pair me up with some hot blonde like you see on those old pinups. Shit, I don't even care if she can shoot straight. Can't have everything. Yeah, try not to get killed. I try not to. I'll try to hit on Veronica. Don't look at her. No. Baraka, no. Sleep. Oh, we can sleep. Sleep for... Ten hours. Fancy meeting you here, what friend. What the fuck? How did you get in here? Just rolling along on my spurs. Looks like I just might make it to New Vegas after all. See what happened in there? Yep. Guess it's just down to you and Fancy Pants. I wouldn't worry about him. He looks all hat and no cattle me. Yep, this is getting mighty embarrassing. People gonna start to talk. <laughs> Look me up when you get to New Vegas. I'll buy the first round. This man like woke me up. Wakes me up. It wakes me up. All right. New day. Let's see what's up with Crimson Caravan. Can we travel in here? Oh, we can. Okay. Welcome to the Crimson Caravan Company, New Vegas Branch. What may I do for you? Um, looking for work, actually. 
I'm afraid we have no current openings for caravanners or guards, but I am in need of a runner. Okay. I'll take it. What do you need me to do? Deliver this invoice to Dr. Hildern. You can find him somewhere inside Camp McCarran. Okay. It's been a pleasure. All right. Our guys put the monorail back to work. We can go back to Camp McCarran. Pick up some missions while we're there too. Victor. Who wakes someone up during the night? Just to say hi. Like, no. Go away. Like, no. There's a lot more troops here than we thought. No wonder we couldn't hold Helios 1. Oh, we couldn't. Up here? Oh no, I think it's downstairs. How do we get out of here? I think it's on this side. I think it's upstairs. First recons at Camp Forlorn Hope. Now we've got a chance to hold it. Can we take this? Oh, we have all the cigarettes. All the cigarettes. No. But let's interrogate someone. You stick out like a sore thumb around here. You sure you're in the right place? Mm, do you need any help? Yeah, so far this has gone exactly as expected. Poorly. But with the work you've done for NCR already, you might be just what I've been looking for. We captured an honest-to-god centurion of Caesar's legion recently. Is that a big deal? Better believe it. Everybody. Everybody in Caesar's Legion, from Caesar on down, will kill themselves before they can be captured. They're so twitchy, they'd probably do it if you reached out to hug them. But here's this guy, who's an elite commander in their army, and he just gives himself up, even as his men are slitting their own throats around him. What do you think that means? Well, I don't know about you, but to me, that sounds like a man who's willing to cooperate. Except he hasn't. Only times he speaks up are to insult you. He's a real prick, by the way. And I'm supposed to get information out of this guy. What? Well, what about you... Give him some, uh... Some motivation. I like the way you think. Have I said that yet? Problem is that the NCR frowns on using that sort of tactic. 
There are some restrictions still in place from President Tandy's administration. But here's my favorite thing about you. You're not in the NCR. Exactly. Plus, for all this guy knows, you're completely insane. That's a winning combination. So you want me to do what you can't? I think if you rough him up enough and really put some fear into him, he'll sing like a choir boy. So let's do this. When you're ready, I'll go in and give you a little intro. Then I leave the room and you make him regret the day he was born. We go back and forth a couple times until either he talks or he can't move his jaw anymore. Either way, we've had our entertainment for the day. Okay, let's get it started. That's the spirit. Okay, I'll go in and have a word with him. Then I'll call you in. Long time no see, Silus. Lieutenant. I was just thinking about you. That's so. I was. I was just... Just thinking about that pretty neck of yours. How sweet. I was thinking about how it would look with a Legion slave collar on it. I'll pass. Do you know what I love about our slave collars, Lieutenant? If you love them, maybe you should try one on. I love how tightly they fit. I train my men to make sure the slave's flesh bulges a bit around the top and bottom. Know why? It's all the rage in fashion circles? Not quite. If you fit it just right, their body never gets used to the feeling of wearing it. It cuts in just enough when they swallow or turn their head to remind them who they belong to. And it's that constant reminder that keeps them docile. In that case, maybe you'd better save the collar you were going to give me. Oh? For whom? For a friend of mine you're about to meet. My friend isn't very docile. And who is this friend of yours? You know all the rules the NCR instituted to protect enemy prisoners of war? Of course. My friend doesn't. Oh, and Silus, if you resist at all, I'll personally blow your brains out. Come on in. He's all yours. I'll be back in a bit to see how you're getting along. And I'll need you to surrender your weapons before you go in. You can pick them up from the locker on your way out. Hello. What an ugly little worm you are. What pile of excrement did the lieutenant pluck you from, worm? I think you're confused. You must have some reason to be in your line of work. Tell me, what did the Legion do to you? Did we enslave your children? Slaughter your family before your eyes to teach you a lesson? Whatever it was, I hope I was there to give the order. You must miss giving orders after all that all your men are dead. Foot soldiers of the Legion are trained not to have to think for themselves, to have conflict removed from their minds. They kill themselves to evade capture because they are not trusted to make such a decision rationally in the heat of battle. But I'm no foot soldier. I knew I could escape captivity on my own without revealing the tiniest iota of information to my captors. That's why you were too gutless to follow Caesar's orders. I'll show you gutless, you sniveling bastard. I'll spill your guts all over this room. Is something the matter, Silas? You look upset. Here, maybe you'd better step out for a moment. You've upset him. You're a miserable fucking degenerate. I don't know. I thought she seemed like a nice lady. If we were on the other side of the I'd have her torn apart by dogs. That's a long walk, Zeus. I don't think it's gonna happen. You'd better just talk. Your tactics are a joke. If you don't like dealing with me, I can bring my friend back in. Both of you can rot. Have it your way. Okay. Come on back in. I think he misses you. We don't have anything to discuss, worm. You talk tough for someone who's afraid to die. 
You think I could get where I was in the Legion army if I feared death? I've led charges against men with guns carrying only my knife. And I can tell you, it was they who feared me. But suicide is a weak death on a battlefield. It says to your enemy that you fear capture. It says if you're caught, you can be broken. And if you can't go through it, you look even weaker. You think I'm going to slit my throat for some megalomaniacal self-appointed dictator? I didn't work my way up to have it all be taken from me out of some irrational paranoia. Kaisar's losing it. I believe that. He's been shutting himself in his tent. Privately, he complains of headaches. Whatever it is, it's affecting his ability to lead. Time was essential for my mission, but we waited three days for him to dispatch us. Another of his headaches. Does that sound like a man in command? He has an operative planted in this very base, but does he use his agent to rescue me? No. He's content to have the agent spend his nights radioing troop positions back to our base camp. He knows I'm here, and he's left me to rot. Who's the operative? I don't know. I know he sends intelligence by radio in the middle of the night. Sometimes that intelligence would find its way to my cantery. I think I've heard enough. I hope the Legion burns your wretched body at the stake when they conquer this place. Nothing I could tell you would do anything to stop that. Uh, uh, you're uh, a very nice man. You did well. I don't know how you did it without putting a scratch on him. And I'm a little disappointed personally, but... It saved the NCR some face. And it could save us more than that when all is said and done. I'm gonna talk to some people when we're through here. This is about double the standard fee we'd give a consultant, but from what I saw, you're more of an artist. So think of this as your commission. We were properly introduced. Not big on reading name tags, huh? That's okay. My name is long and difficult to pronounce. Ready for it? It's Boyd, Lieutenant Boyd to my friends. Colonel Shu has me handling the policing duties for the base. I've told him he could make my job a whole lot easier if he would just let me shoot anyone who talks back to me. But you know how colonels can be. Yep, see you around. All right. Uh, guns, forward lockpick. Each and then where's the repair at? Ah, uh, what? What perk do I want to do? Well, learn her again. Patrol in the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winner. You got something to say, or do you always look like that? Right. Who's this guy? I'm glad we could finally meet. My sources tell me you've done some good work for us. What brings you to Camp McCarran? Um, here, for bad support, I'm here. I'm off for hire if we need some extra manager around the base. There are a lot of things I can't spare troops for right now. If you can help us, we can definitely pay you for your work. Hmm. You don't cook by any chance, do you? Farber's doing his best, but it's hard to manage an army with half my staff in line for the latrine. Honestly, we're fighting a lot of fires right now. The fiends keep pressing their position from Vault 3. We've got the Legion breathing down our necks across the river. We actually took an officer alive last week, but so far he hasn't spoken a word. Any other problem? Yeah. On top of everything else, I can't send a patrol on a bathroom break without it being ambushed by someone who heard they were coming. So somebody's getting the word out. Hmm. Well, why not? Given your recent arrival, at least I can safely rule you out as the leak. I'd like to have absolute trust in my men, but that's just not practical right now. Go ahead and look into it. See what you find. 
We don't have much to go on right now. Lately, every raiding party in New Vegas seems to have a map of our troop movements. It derails everything. Supplies, reinforcements. And it'll only get worse the longer we let it go on. Captain Curtis is heading up the investigation right now. He can fill you in. All right. Bye. Let's see. Nice to meet you. I'm Curtis. Smart man. I could use somebody who can operate under the radar around here. Whoever our mole is, he's been slippery. Whenever one of the MPs gets too close, he changes his habits. Our last lead went cold weeks ago. Uh, let's... You want my advice? Start by talking to people with a lot of eyes in the field. People like Lieutenant Boyd or Sergeant Contreras, maybe. Careful with Contreras, though. He's not above suspicion himself. Keep me apprised of any leads you get. This guy's gotten a lot of my men killed. I'm just itching to return the favor. All right. Later. All right. Something I can do for you? Oh, no. Uh, must be upstairs. Something I can do for you? That's the original one. Um, must be upstairs. Go on through, soldier. I haven't done this mission in years. You look like someone in need of a reliable supplier. Anything suspicious? You mean other than some stranger with no military ID interrogating me inside our base? Did Boyd put you up to this? I'm so sick of this harassment. You tell her to stop wasting my time with this bullshit. No, I haven't seen anything suspicious. It's been business as usual. What kind of supplies do you have? For you? Just the basics. Come back when you're a little more seasoned and maybe we could talk about other options. Bad business if someone hurts themselves using your products, you know. Gets all kinds of unwanted attention. Later. Nothing. 